After two decades, the owner of a popular bookstore in Hillsboro Village is closing its doors. Only on 5, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains the reason behind the end of this chapter at Bookman, Bookwoman. Chapter 4, Burdens. In the middle of a busy Hillsboro Village. The day began sourly. Is this business quietly tucked away? While they tried to be cheerful. With its own history artists. worth turning every page for. Every building here have its, has its own story. 1087. Bookman Bookwoman has placed its bookmark as a staple in the city. Do you need a bag? Have a good one. The prologue to the store's story takes place 20 years never, ago. I never thought I'd be in small business. Just like its halls. Uh, it just keeps going back and back. Sarah Lee's husband, Larry, had a more than 40,000 book collection and helped open the store to sell them. Uh, but it became an excuse for Larry to buy more books and uh, collect more books, and it's just been so much fun. The windows of this bookstore became eyes to Music City's rapid growth. We've watched things uh, go away. We've watched buildings tear down. The collection grew to 100,000 used and new books. It is kind of wacky, but like all the little nooks and crannies, that's what made it so fun when I first found it. But like the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. It would be a good time for us to close at the end of the year. I'm so glad you came here. Good. I hope you find something today. After 20 years, the couple is excited to end a chapter and start a new one. We appreciate your business. A less busy one. And I would like to spend more time with my family. I've missed a lot by owning and running a business, and it's time for me to do something else. The news Sorry, it just not so easy to swallow. The store has given and stayed loyal to Nashville for so long, and its customers are loyal back. But you know how people talk about their childhood home and how special it is, and then when their parents finally move, they're like kind of heartbroken. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I just... <sighs> Even though the books won't stay quietly tucked away in these shelves soon. You know, being in the village is what I'm going to miss. Everyone hopes the legacy lives on. The young couple was excited about their plans. Just like the stories with good friends they read and tell. And joyful thoughts for the future. Now, just because the brick and mortar is closing down does not mean business is over. In fact, it will continue online through their website. And as a way to say thank you, the owners will have a big sale starting this Monday, meaning every book inside except the newer ones will have a 50% discount. And so they're hoping to sell all the books before they close the store at the end of the year. Reporting live in Hillsborough Village tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.